What's going on everyone? We are at the Dallas RV. <laughs> you know the best part is? We're being heckled by Ryan. What's up everybody? You're at the Southwest RV Super Show in Dallas Market Hall with Venturesome Couple that can't say that right. <laughs> Thank That's God he is here for the intro. Martha, what were we getting ready to walk through? A 2023 Alliance Valor 31T13. So this is a towable Valor. So this is the toy hauler towable that we got to walk through when it was a prototype. Now that they've got a finished unit on the ground, we're gonna go through and do a tour. Yeah, we're really excited to show you. So check it out. So this beautiful front cap is fiberglass molded and painted with diamond plate down below. The diamond plate is a great feature because it really does a good job of keeping the rock chips off of your front of your trailer when you're towing. And of course, let's be real, everybody wants to know the numbers. So 3,546 pounds of cargo capacity, two 6,000 pound axles, a 13,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating, riding on 235 8016 tires. This is an awesome size travel trailer. On the outside, you've got a 3200 watt own-in generator, so it's a 30 amp coach. You've got your battery compartment right here. You've got two 20 amp propane bottles. You've got an electronic jack. Thank God, because manual sucks. Coming down the side, you've got manual crank stabilizers, which is good. These are not to lift your trailer. These are keep it from rocking. Make sure you don't do that. You've got three aluminum trifold steps. They come up and tuck out of the way. So when you're traveling, out of the way. Your main body slide right here is cable driven. You have two JBL speakers on the outside. Up top, you've got an awning. It spans almost the full length of the side, but it covers both doors, which I think is a great thing. You've got tandem axles sitting on 16 inch tires. Another trifold step, the back door, which leads you into the garage. And then as you come down the side, more stabilizers to make sure, you know, the trailer is stable, especially when you're loading and unloading. And uh, right on the back with an enclosure, all aluminum. So as I said with the generators, it's a 30 amp coach, so your plugs right here, you've got your gas fill for your toys. This is gonna be your dispensing station, and then your fuel pump is gonna be under here. You've got another stabilizer there. The other side of the back side of the tires. On the side of the wall up there, you've got a Lippard ladder mount. That's a really cool thing. It's a telescoping ladder that's inside the back. You bring it out, you hook it up. So you actually don't have a permanent ladder affixed. You can use it whenever you need it. On the driver's side or off-door side, you've got two slides. This slide is run off of cables, and this one is a Schwintec. You've got a little bit of exterior storage here. I don't know what behind this bed. They've got it locked. Then, of course, you got your, far, uh, your furnace and the back of your water heater. Inside this beautiful toy hauler travel trailer, you have a really good sized kitchen. I'm very impressed. Really nice sized kitchen island with the sink, farm style, and there's plenty of storage down below. The cool thing about it, you have a generous sized fridge. You can put a lot of food in here. There's storage, there's a drawer down below the fridge, below the oven, you have the oven, side cabinets, microwave, and a good sized pantry. The cool thing about the pantry is that it's backlit and you have adjustable shelves, which is amazing because you don't get that a lot in other travel trailers. Off to the, off to the kitchen, you have the master bedroom. The cool thing about the master bedroom, it has a queen size bed. You lift up their storage underneath and a big generous area for shoes. They have a shoe cubby hole that they notched out. It looks fantastic. It is wired for the wine guard and you have a finished closet. You have dual access to the master bathroom through the bedroom and through the hallway. So you got a shower, you got a toilet, you got your sink, and you have plenty of space in here. There's a lot of cabinet space. When you walk in the front door to the left, you have your sofa. I love this sofa. You pull the middle seat down and then you have cup holders, you got a platform and a charging station, which is great. Across from the couch, you have your entertainment center. There's Storage up above, you have your TV, JBL stereo system, and then you have view of the kitchen. It's fantastic. 
This is a fantastic living space and they spared no expense. Look at that. You have the beautiful big atrium windows and you get so much light in here. The best part about this travel trailer toy hauler, this door, it separates your living space from the garage. So if you're bringing your toys, you don't have to smell the fumes or anything. It's just, it's divided. I love it. Let's go into the garage. This travel trailer toy hauler, it has a 13 foot garage, which is massive. So you have the happy jack couches, you've got the bed up above, you have a half bath and you have area to tie down your toys. And it has the air conditioning in here. The cool feature about this bathroom in the garage, it has its own door and it's its own room. I've seen others where they've just kind of folded the door. I'm not a fan of that. And this is a really good sized bathroom. One of the best features about the toy hauler is the back patio, of course. I love how it is a big, squared out. It maximizes the whole space. Come out here, Chris. And if you can get set up and say overlooking a lake, you'll have the best views. So what do you guys think? I think this is a great little travel trailer. We can get away. Um, you can load up your toys, pack light. I, don't forget, Alliance did warranty this for full time, so that's pretty cool. They're going to stand behind this product. Um, I love the floor plan. I think it's a great little travel trailer, and I think it's something that's super useful and um, good living space. I, like I said, I like it. I'm, yeah, and they incorporated all the elements. So, I mean, you have your sofa, you have your TV, you have a nice sized kitchen with a kitchen island. I love that. You know, one of the cool things uh, that they did that we didn't talk about walking around is unlike a lot of uh, toy haulers that are travel trailers, Alliance actually separated the garage from the living space. So you're not bringing your toy into your living room. They actually have a door that shuts in between, which um, we've seen them the other way around yeah. where they're, um, you We're know. not a fan of it all in one where you see the bed all the way to your toys. And you're right. Everything in between. So <laughs> when you're eating your meal, you're not smelling, you know, these exhaust fumes, even though, you know, in the garage it's vent and you have the door shut so I think it gives you different areas of the trailer quote-unquote house and it keeps it very homey yeah I like this a lot all right guys thank you guys so much for watching our tour this beautiful travel trailer it's finished it looks amazing so don't forget like and subscribe and give us that thumbs up absolutely and enjoy every moment